Sunday, it's an all-new edition of 60 Minutes. Then... Your father's body washed up on shore early this morning. Four sisters under suspicion of murder, and one corpse who refuses to die. Now, who's doing what to whom? I don't know why those girls are lying. Angela Lansbury stars as Jessica Fletcher in Murder, She Wrote, Sunday. Monday, live from Nashville, it's the hottest pickin' in country as Kenny Rogers hosts the exciting 18th Annual Country Music Association Awards with Miss Dolly Parton. Plus, Willie Nelson, Ann Murray, Chris Christopherson, Ricky Skaggs, and 20 more of your favorite stars. Y'all don't miss it. Live Monday. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Vice President George Bush tonight released his tax returns for the last three years. Bush paid an average of 37% in taxes, about the same as his Democratic opponent in recent years. For the first time, an FBI agent has been arrested on spying charges. California-based Richard Miller is accused of selling secrets to a Soviet immigrant couple. Attorney General William Friend Smith commented, every now and then, a rotten apple will show up. Now this. Imagine a telephone system that'll be just as current in the future as it is now. G. No, GTE. A new study concludes that regular vigorous exercise does more good than harm. To lessen the risk of sudden heart attack, the study indicates a body should start slowly and work up to a vigorous program. I'm Mark McCarthy, CBS News, Washington. More news later on this CBS station and on CBS News Nightwatch. This is CBS.